Right, welcome to Jurkin's Fight Night called Road to Vegas tonight. It is going to be a very interesting night tonight. Let's have a look at this very, very first B-Class MMA fight. Both of these boys debuting in their MMA cage tonight. Both of them previously had uh, kickboxing uh, wins. We have Tom Vontheimer in the Shuriken corner, in the red corner. And in the blue corner, we have Tyson Terrigo. And see, this card seems to be very much behind, uh, behind Vontheimer. Vontheimer's just got the black shorts on with the red chin guards. And the other one in the other corner with the black with the red and the black uh, leg guards is Tyson. And say so both boys. This is B-class MMA, the, the, the mitts are a little bit thicker and the shin guards on there protect the guys. There's certain rules about B-class with you where you've got no striking on the ground to the head and um, also takedowns are legal and knees are, knees are legal to the body but not to the head. So we'll see how these boys go, both of them very, very keen to get injured. You can see them grappling hard to make a switch. Very, very nice knees from Tommy in the clinch. Seem to be taking a bit of a wing. Tyson's looking for the switch there. Tommy flips it and lands into top, into top, top mount. Very, very strong from here is Tommy. He's going to be looking for the armbar. If you have a look at it, he's grabbing the arm. He's looking for the armbar. He's sunk it on. Let's see if he can finish it from here. Tommy's flipped out and Tyson has now fall, fallen into the guard. So now we're going to be looking at what these boys are going to be doing. Remember, they cannot strike to the face. Tommy be looking maybe for an armbar from the bottom, maybe a triangle, maybe using those right legs. But he seems to be pulling him in, he's messing his posture. But what Tyson needs to do is Tyson needs to look the posturing up so that he can actually make, make some room to, make, to get some punches or to, to go from there. Tommy looks to be opening his guard, so he looks like he's possibly going to do something. There we go. They're looking. Tommy's going to look for a triangle there, but Tyson's very much up to it. Tommy's definitely looking for this triangle. You can see it's there, but Tyson's just up to it. He seems to be holding that leg in to stop Tommy from doing it. Tommy's definitely into it. Oh, there we go. Let's see if he's locked it. He looks like he's almost getting there. It's very close. You can hear the guys there. Tommy looks like, he, Tommy looks like he's going to squeeze a little bit, but Tyson's hand is in there, which is stopping that triangle. Tyson just throws him around, throws him to the side like a rag doll. Gives him a kick to the leg. Tommy should be getting up pretty quickly. The ref just warns uh, Tyson there for a, a kick to a ground fighter, not allowed. So he's been told about the rules. Tommy's definitely found his range in the striking in this last little bit, which is good. Let's see how they go. Both boys swing. Oh, brilliant uppercut by Tyson. Definitely let Tommy up, Tommy up a bit there. Wundheimer just got set a little bit back from that tight kick. Oh, very, very crisp one-two from Tyson there. Both boys, both boys looking. Tommy um, fakes the takedown, fakes the takedown and does a bit of a thing to get a bit of maneuver. Oh, does a head kick. What a strong head kick. And Tyson was up to it too. Let's see where they're going. Both boys, definitely not a good position to be in to end the round for, for Vontimer. But we will see where the next round goes. There's the end of the round. Right, if we have a look at the rounds, we have a look in the red corner there. You'll have Paolo and Jason in there. They're both talking to Tommy, saying some calm down, relax. This is your first MMA fight. You need to just kind of take a deep breath and work on your basics. You've got it. You know you're better than him. You know you've got the jiu-jitsu game. If we have a look in the blue corner over there, we'll have a look and we'll see Tyson's getting his coaching from the foot shop guys, Stu Chalmers, saying to him, yeah, you've got it. Keep doing what you're doing and see what happens from there. He definitely, he definitely, if you look at it, Stu Chalmers seems to, uh, Stu Chalmers be saying to Tyson, you are definitely beating Tommy in all aspects of this at the moment. Your straight punches are working really, really nicely. And your ground game's also really good, just sitting in the top mount, or in the top guard there. Round two, we have the guys coming out, touching in the middle. Let's see where they go. Tommy's starting with a strong leg kick there. 
Tuss is looking for his opening. Tommy goes back to that head kick. Both of them trying to get that head kick. Very impressive kick. Both boys have great function. Tommy just misses with that, that kick. Tyson's going to be looking for that takedown. Tommy better be up for it. Tommy better be looking for those hooks, but he's not. Tyson is grappling him very, very nicely. You can see him there in the red and black shorts fighting out of fight, fight shop. Both boys working around. Tommy's looking for that clinch with the knees. Tommy does tries to do a throw. Tommy does it, and he manages to almost pull the sweep in. And Tyson does a turn again and counters and lands right back in the guard of Tommy. Tommy's going to look for him. Similar, possibly a rubber guard there, but he seems to have let it go from there. Let's see. Let's see what Von Timer wants. Von Timer's looking from the bottom. He's going to be looking for things, but Tyson's just going to be looking at throwing striking from the bottom. He's not looking to progress, which is smart in this one. There we go. Tommy looks. Tommy looks to be going for a triangle there. That's very, very almost there. It's almost there. Let's see how tight this is. This could be very tight. Oh, you're not allowed to spike in the thing. Tommy was just, uh, I'm not sure if the ref has allowed that, but it looks like she has. I thought spiking wasn't allowed in B-class. Can hear the guys are getting tighter and tighter. Let's see if Tommy burns himself out. It looks like it's very, very tight. Tyson looks like he's in on it. He looks like he could be doing it. Tommy's squeezing for dear life. Is it going to come off or is it going to burn Tommy out? Let's see if Tommy, let's see if he's, let's see if he's got it. He's looking for something. The ref does, ref's looking inside. Both fighters seem to be fighting. This is, this is a brilliant show of fight. Now it's going to be tighter once he puts this on. Look at this. He's now tightening up. Tommy's listening to his corner. His corner's telling him to tighten it up. He's moving that arm across. Let's see how tight he gets. He's hanging on that back leg. Let's see how tight it goes. He can make it tighter. Well, <laughs> this is really good from Tyson. He's just hanging in there. It looks like it's there. There, that's what's saving Tommy. That's what's saving Tyson there. He's got that hand in, in by Tommy's groin there. You can see that is a bit that's saving him at the moment. But this is all Tommy. Uh, Tommy can just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference with that because that hand is in there. He needs, he needs, needs to work on that arm a bit more. Maybe look at seeing where he goes. Tyson seems to still have that hand in there, but Tommy let the, let the lock go a bit. There we go, now it looks like the hand's out. Now it looks like, because Tyson's moved it. Looks like it's in now, looks like it's in. Tommy has, Tommy has got that other hand out. He's just gonna squeeze, squeeze his Tyson seems to be sort of stacking him a little bit and holds out for the round. Wow, that looks like it was tight, could have been finished. Unlucky for Tommy, he's trying and trying. I think Tommy would be a little bit disappointed he didn't finish that from there, but you know, with the shin guards on, it does make it a little bit harder to squeeze it as tight as possible. Not like it normally is when you've got jiu-jitsu on with no... Have yeah, a look in the red corner. The guys will be telling Tommy Elias more of that when he goes to the ground, throw that triangle on. But now looking for that armbar, switch it to that armbar. You'll have it all day. If we have a look at the blue corner there with Tyson's corner, the guys at Fit Shop will be telling him, hey, bro, you, you maybe want to go and have a, a look at it a little bit more. You know he can't choke you out. Just sit and be patient. Take him to the ground and do what you need to and take those strikes. Just maintain top control and see where you go from there. three the third and final round for these guys let's see where they go we can see Tyson's very weary of that leg kick from Tommy Tommy's obviously hurt him with it before Tommy comes with a brilliant overhand right definitely lights it up Tommy needs to get his hands going from here if he wants to win this fight it's a bit of a I think it's a one round a piece if I had to take it so both boys are fighting for the win right here Tyson looks to be just landing that straight one he's looking to bounce out and counter in on Tommy's one Tommy just needs to possibly look at this and say, well, let me keep you at distance if you're going to stay that way and I'll just kick you for the rest of the fight. And they, they could possibly win in the fight. Tommy goes in with another overhand right again. There's a spinning back kick. It's Tommy's corner so smartly tells him to stop that. Concentrate on the game plan and the combo. Work on the basics. Tommy comes in with a stiff jab there. 
Tyson's busy, a bit weary on going in. I think he's been caught with a few. He's looking at it. He's looking both fighters. Tommy misses. Tyson just slips and then ends a deadly kick. Just see where these boys go. Both boys are looking to throw it in now. Tyson's not, not afraid to step into this fight. You can definitely see that. He's walking forward all the time. Tommy backing off a little bit. Tommy comes in with a counter left. Tyson grab, grabs a hold of him. Now they're going to grapple. You're going to see that Tyson's going to look for a leg trip or a drag or something like that to try and get him down to the ground. Tommy probably be looking for his... Now you're hearing Tommy's now landed on his back. Good, brilliant little takedown from Tyson Trigger. He's now going to work from here. He's probably going to look for those strikes again. Tommy's maybe going to look back at that uh, triangle again if he can get it right. He's locking the arms. He's holding him. He's going to see where he's going to go from there. This is not a good position for Tyson. Tyson, if he's not careful, he'll end up with his arms out. Goes strike into the head. Whoa. Just narrowly misses. So that, that's, that's very lucky for him. And Tommy and them are now going at it. The crowd is cheering for these boys to throw it at each other. Tommy's just got to bite his gum guard and throw in. Oh, Tyson's got Tommy's back. He's going to ragdoll him down. Tommy just sits on there. Sits on top of him now. Now what's going to happen is, is Tommy's been told to spin. Let's we'll see what happens from here. Definitely having a look at this. This is a bit of a tense fight with these two boys, even though they're young as they are, and their very first fight in the cage at MMA. Both boys are looking to go. This is a very, very good position for Tyson. He's getting into side control. Tommy's got that one hook in. If he can get the other hook in, he can take the back, which is not going to be good. Which is not, which is not going to be good for Tyson. If he can take the back, Tommy's moving, moving. Tommy has taken the back. Oh my word, did you see that? That was very slick from there. Tommy took the back. This is now Tommy's game from here. Tommy's probably going to look for an armbar from here if he's patient enough. And we have the end of the fight. That is the end of the fight. Wow, what an exciting last minute or so in the round. Did Tommy do enough to sink the win? Did Tyson do enough to sink the win? It was very back and forward in this whole round. You know, I think Tyson might have just snuck in the win. And that's purely based on that takedown that he did. But you never know in the judges' eyes. Tommy reversed it, got the mount, got on. So definitely could be working for him tonight. We're just going to have to wait to see what the judges say. Fantastic fight by both these boys, the debut in B-class MMA. Both of them are going to be really, really good fighters. The older they get, the more fights they take. But well done to Tyson Trigo from Fight Shop. And very, very, very good and clean fight from him. Very disciplined. Well done to both of these boys. Tom Wandama, well done, bud. Unlucky on the, you got the bit of the rub in the, the bed this time. But don't worry, you'll learn from this and you'll get stronger and stronger. So 